What's up guys, Dodgers Randy here. Just made it to Camelback Ranch. Dodgers had an off day yesterday, so glad to be back. Ready for some more baseball tonight. Uh, we've got a 7.05, that's the time it'll be here in Arizona. 6.05 back in California for tonight's game against the Indians. We've got Rich Hill on the mound. We've got pretty much our whole starting lineup out there, minus a couple uh, positions. We've got Taylor, Kike, Jock, Muncy, Freeze, Bellinger, Verdugo. Uh, Rocky Gale will be doing the catching, and I think I saw Edwin Rios, Rios on there, not 100% sure, was really just trying to look at who our starters were that are out there tonight. Um, so hoping for a good game, hoping just for a fun game. Uh, today is my last day in spring training, so I will be leaving first thing in the morning, uh, but I do plan on coming back out March 15th for that weekend, so uh, yeah, hoping to be back. Hopefully this isn't the last spring training video, but if it is... I will catch you guys on opening day or the freeway series. But anyways, let's worry about today. Um, just happy to be back. Got here for, got, just got here for practice about 3.30. Facility opened up at 3. So going to head in right now, see what's going on. Not sure how much practicing the guys will be doing. Uh, kind of sounds like they're already working out inside the facility, not on the fields yet, but just uh, where the fans can't be. So gonna head in check that out um really quickly I just want to trying to show you guys oh so I finally got my first blue Dodgers jersey I've been wanting these for a while haven't had one finally got it uh Cody Bellinger not can't show you the back I have a backpack on but uh just want to give a huge shout out to affordable jerseys for getting that out to me so that way I could have this jersey uh while I was out here for a couple games so just so you guys know, you could check them out. Their stuff's legit. I wouldn't be wearing it and I wouldn't be telling you about it if it was fake. So it's affordablejerseys.com. They're cheaper than MLB. They're the same jerseys as MLB, the uh, replicas. They're numbers sewn on the back. So it's all legit. I wouldn't promote anything to you guys if it was fake. I compared it to the jersey I ordered from MLB shop, exactly the same. Uh, but their jerseys are about $20 cheaper than MLB so and their shipping's quicker so that's where I'm gonna be buying my jerseys from now on uh, they got a lot of the new players up there and if you use Dodgers Randy you can get uh, five dollars off on top of the discount already so I'll make sure to link that below if you guys want to check it out but other than that I'm gonna head in for practice and I'll catch up with y'all in a few minutes so nothing too exciting going on just to kind of show you guys some more out here the stuff you can see when they're all throwing BP side by side usually takes place out here not even working with balls right now just working on their mechanics you can see a couple of them back there Scott Alexander you can see Dustin May they're playing some football playing catch the football some Grani Quackenbush so this is where you usually find your pitchers before they're warming up on the field <laughs> So right now they're all heading out for practice. Pitchers will usually go on one field, position players on another. They'll do their drills, do some BP, some running, playing catch, and then they'll get ready to head back to the locker room for the game. Kirsch in the back, and there's Bueller.
Bueller's just starting his bullpen warm up. Pitching to Martin. All right, over there. Well, that's the end of practice today. Um, tried to show you guys some BP. Seeger wasn't out here today. Apparently he's sick, so I didn't really focus on fielding too much. Was trying to watch BP, see how the guys looked. Uh, Walker Bueller looked great as always. Uh, there was a lot of pop in that glove when he was throwing it to Martin. So excited and ready to see him go. Uh, everything that's going on with Kershaw, he is feeling better, yet they still don't know when he'll actually be pitching again. Uh, so I don't know who our opening day starter is going to be. I did think it was going to be Bueller. Someone made a good point that he may not be uh, stretched out stamina-wise and ready to go since he hasn't even pitched in a game. So it'll be interesting to see what the Dodgers do, but um, I don't know. I trust anyone on our pitching rotation, so I'm not too worried about it. Who knows? Urias, Hill, Ryu, whoever it may be, Maeda. Um, I'm going to feel good about them being out there. So not stressing about it but uh now i'm just waiting for my friend to get here with my ticket so i can get into the game and we can watch the game tonight so just chilling out by the practice fields that's what it looks like out here so it's pretty awesome as you could tell and i got another practice field behind me and then the main practice field where is it oh over there where that group of people that so I'll catch up with y'all when I get inside. Just made it into the stadium, obviously, as you can tell. Got some pretty good seats tonight. Dodgers dugout right there, so got 38 minutes until first pitch. I got my margarita, so I'm good to go. And I'm spilling, but it's all good. But I'm gonna go and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. That's former Dodger Hammy Ramirez that just grounded out. In the second inning, Hill gave up a shop double to start the game and then retired the side, so he's still tied at 0 0. Top of the second. Woo! He gave it the two out double, makes it 2 to 1. I get compliments all the time on my video quality. We are starting the top of the seventh now. Um, Dodgers pitching looking pretty good so far. We had Yemi, Jansen, Hill. Uh, Ferguson is on the mound now. Uh, Jamie Schultz was in earlier. He kind of got beat up a little bit, but nothing bad. I mean, all things considering, Cleveland's only scored two runs, uh, but they have seven hits. However, we have three hits on one run. Uh, so our offense is not doing too well tonight. Um, a lot of strikeouts, it seems, or a lot of fly balls, just nothing really. They don't seem to be getting it done, but Ferguson's on the mound now, and he just got a ground out, two pitches in, so we're off to a good start there. Uh, but 
it Center looks field, like yeah all Still the starters title. have been pulled so it's all minor leaguers in now so I may watch another inning or so but then I'm probably gonna head out because I got a long drive home first thing in the morning so we'll see how Caleb does and then I'll see what happens from there Ferguson gave up a solo shot but now he's got two strikes and two outs on this guy there we go Got out of the inning, gave up one solo home run, almost went foul, but just got in there. Right. Dodgers now trail three to one, heading to the bottom of the seventh. I will probably be leaving after this inning. Well, unfortunately, they couldn't get anything done. I thought that was going to be our inning because they scored, or they had two hits. But unfortunately, that was it. They couldn't bring anything across. So it's 3-1 heading into the eighth. Uh, Dodgers have, I think, five hits in total. So Ferguson's coming out for another inning. But I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm leaving at 6 a.m. Arizona time. So I can be home in time for the game tomorrow to watch on TV. Hopefully it's on TV. Um, but other than that, that's it for this trip. I hope you guys enjoyed all the vlogs. If not, I'm sorry. I'll try to do better next time I'm out here. But I plan on being out here uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend, the 15th, 16th, and 17th. So if you're going to be out here, let me know. If not, I will try to do, or not try, I'll do my vlogs when I'm out here. And I'll see you guys then. So. Have a good next week, and I'll well, I'm, I'll see you guys for more game recaps. But I'll see you in Arizona in another week and a day or something like that. Anyways, all right. Have a great night, guys. Hopefully we come out with this win, but I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.